Joe Palmer here, and it's July 1st, 2023. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, had been doing a lot of things, but I went to the grocery store this morning and looked at my bill, and lo and behold, I live in the state of Illinois. Today in Illinois, a new 1% tax on groceries was uh, reinstituted. Uh, I guess it was taken off a year or two or whatever ago uh, for COVID or inflation or whatever. Don't these politicians realize that a 1% tax on groceries is the same thing as 1% inflation on your groceries? I don't think they really give a rats one way or the other, as long as they get their money. And I started thinking and reflecting, this is, we're coming up on the 4th of July, supposed to be Independence Day. And I thought to myself, are we really free? And again, I, I live in Illinois, and I got to tell you, this state really sucks. Uh, the highway system in Illinois, it sucks. The education system in, in Illinois, mainly because of Chicago and a couple of other big cities, um, they really suck. And they drain the resources of every other resident in the, in the state. You know, I mean, if they took away Chicago and made it a separate state, Illinois would be a Republican state. All I gotta do is look at a, at a map every election. All the all the counties outside of Chicago and, and maybe one other one uh, go Republican. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know, let's face it: the city of Chicago and Cook County or Crook County uh, it, it controls this state and the politicians in it. And the corruption of this state is well known. I don't need to get into it. I mean, we've had more governors go to jail than I think, you know, most most other states. But I started to think, I said, you know, what do these politicians do? And not only in Illinois, but in Congress. They're not freedom givers, they're freedom takers. Every time they pass a bill, or every time they pass a new law, they're taking something from you and me. They're taking money, they're taking a, a, a freedom that we have, or they're going to, to try to restrict the freedom that we have. Uh, and I, I've about had it up to here with their crap. In Illinois, this is an example, effective January 1, 2023, 180 new laws went into effect. In 2022, January 1, 2022, 300 new laws went into effect. This past year, the last Congress passed 308 bills. And bills is the right word because we're getting the bill for the things that they pass that makes them feel good. Haven't these people ever heard of canceling some of these laws they've passed? You know, yesterday the Supreme Court ruled that Biden didn't have the constitutional authority to uh, forgive over $400 billion in student loans. Uh, and he says, well, they misunderstood the Constitution. The crap they did. It says right in the Constitution that Congress controls the purse strings. Not some Yahoo, I don't care what party they are, sitting in the White House. But you know, after, the, after the, they, they, they came out with that ruling, all of these TV networks, they started getting all these Generation Zs and these people that, you know, borrowed money to go to school to get a, a, a degree in, in philosophy. Uh, they said, well, you know, how's this going to impact you? Oh, I don't know. Jeez, I, I sure was counting on that money. Yeah, like, I think it was some uh, uh, legislator in New York, uh, a lawyer, 
$200,000 in, in student loans, uh, and yet she just bought a $1.1, $1.4 million house. You know, I feel really sorry uh, for her. And you know what? They had this, this punk kid on TV, and I, I'll tell you, sometimes you just feel like slapping these people on the top of their head. He said, well, you know, I, I think they ought to do, do away with student loans, uh, give us a chance, and, and you know, they, they should expand it to mortgages and, and other loans, too. Yeah, you know, why not? You know, I, I'm going to go down to the Mercedes or BMW dealership this afternoon and say, hey, you know what, give me one of these cars, and, you know, here's a dollar. Let me drive it off your lot, and don't worry about paying it, me paying it back. The, you know, the government's going to forgive the loan. Yeah, how does that work for you? You know, these people are a disgrace. They're, they're useless and they're wimps. Uh, and there's jobs out there, and yet they don't want to do them. They go on TikTok and figure out ways. What's a cute way to quit? You know, um, I reflect on my parents. My parents grew up in the Depression. They went through World War II. They went through Korea. They went through watching their kids, such as myself, go to Vietnam. They went through inflation. They went through recessions. And you know what? Did you hear them bellyaching a the government? Can you help forgive my loan? No. They sucked it up and worked a way out. I'm not saying because I'm a Vietnam veteran, but I got to tell you, you know, some two and a half million of us came back from Vietnam. And I'm not going to go into how we were treated because some of us were treated like crap and others we were just trying to, you know, kind of like ignored or whatever, whatever the case is, it doesn't make any difference. But what I, what I am going to say is that when we went to school, the student loan deal was you went to a bank. And under the student loan program, there was a set interest rate that you could pay back to the bank. There was a set amount of money that they could lend out. And if you wanted to go to an expensive school, well, you know what? You had to find ways to get money aside from your bank loan, aside from maybe your GI Bill. And I got to tell you, the GI Bill that Vietnam veterans had was a lot less than that from World War II, and it was less than that from Korea. And that was just the way the government cut things down. You know, it's much better now. And again, what's past is past. Did we bellyache? No. We didn't, because we were brought up to believe that you had to be responsible for your debts, responsible for the bills that you went into. Somewhere along the way, that got lost. Somewhere along the way, they got, that, that got way lost. You know, if you have a bill, or if you have a credit card, and your credit card is expired, and you don't want to use that credit card anymore, you don't renew it. Right? What's the advantage of that? Well, big advantage is you don't go into debt on that credit card anymore. Can you tell me, can anybody who's a state legislator or a congressperson, can you tell me why we've got laws on the books from over 25 years ago, 50 years ago, that are still in effect that have absolutely no bearing whatsoever on today's society? Why don't they get rid of them? Why don't they put a date? Why don't, why don't, instead of coming up with new ways to spend our money, why don't they take a year and just go through the thousands of bills and the thousands of laws they've got and say, you know what? We don't need this anymore. We're voting it out. You know what? We don't need a law to tell people that it's okay to pick up roadkill and take it home to cook. Hey, if you're stupid enough to pick up some dead raccoon on the side of the road that's been there for like two or three days, you want to go home and make a stew out of it, have at it. You know, just don't ask me to pay your medical bill. You know? And 
as long as I'm on a roll, let's talk about this marijuana deal, huh? Hey, yeah, we're going to sell marijuana. It's legal. Well, you know what? Marijuana hasn't been taken off the street. Dealers are doing real good. You know why? People don't want to pay the tax. Dealers are cutting the prices. Yeah. And I don't care one way or the other. If you want to smoke marijuana in your own house, don't do it while you're driving because you might run into me. You might be a little buzzed. But you know, have you ever seen the effects of marijuana on your lungs? I don't care what proponents say or not. The medical evidence is there. It's going to kill you. It's going to kill your lungs. So, you know, maybe, maybe they ought to pass a law that says, you smoke marijuana, you get lung cancer, you're not covered by government insurance. And if your insurance company doesn't want to pay for it, hey, you chose to do that to yourself. Someone once told me that in the UK they had a law, I don't know if it's true or not, it makes sense to me, that if you're in an auto accident, and you don't have your seatbelt on, the insurance company doesn't have to pay any claims. Makes sense to me. Yeah. There's something that's going to save your life. You don't want to use it. Why should the rest of society be responsible? Yeah, we're going into Independence Day. I want you to think about it for a minute, though. Are we really independent? Just over the last 10, 15, 20 years, however, that you can go back to think about. Think about the freedoms that you've lost. Think about the controls that government has placed on you. You know, at the end of the day, I hope you sit back and say, you know what? We're not as free as we think we are. And are our, our, our rights being taken away more and more every day? I don't know. Almost makes you want to leave the country. Anyway, I hope you have a great 4th of July. Just remember as you're out there barbecuing that if you're in California, they're looking at legislation to do away with your grill, your charcoal grill. Yeah, pollutes the air. Why don't we sue Canada for polluting our air? Think about that one. Have a great day. God bless.